Hello guys, welcome to your second Ruby tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the arithmetic operators in Ruby and also their order of operations. So let's open up our command line or terminal and let's um, start up pry and we basically have the same thing as we did in basic algebra so I could do basic addition 2 plus 2 make it 4 we could also add negative numbers so 4 plus a minus 2 we get we get 2 because 4 you know 4 minus 2 is 2 we could also do subtraction 5 minus 3 is 2 and we could also subtract negative numbers so 5 a minus a minus uh, minus a minus 3 is going to be 8 we could also put parentheses here it's going to be the same thing so we could also have multiplication 5 times 6 30 and negative numbers 6 times negative 5 negative 30 and division is the one that you need to be careful about. So let's do 5 divided by 5. We get 1, right? It goes evenly once. But if I do 6 divided by 5, well, I also get 1. Well, the reason why we're not getting that extra precision, that extra 1 fifth, is because we're not asking Ruby explicitly. In computer programming, if you want to do something, you have to ask explicitly because otherwise it's not going to know. You know, it has no intelligence. So the way we do it is we we um, we ask for the precision so there's two types of numbers in Ruby we have the integers which are this ones right here and we have floats floats are basically decimal so we have um, if we wanted to ask for the decimal we have to do you know type it in as a decimal so 6.0 that's a decimal and then divided by 5 which is an integer we could also do it the other way around 5 divided by 6.0 Oh no no no! Hold on, not, not <laughs> I I messed up. It was six divided by five point zero, and we get the same thing. Five divided by we get six divided by five point zero. It's one point two. So we get the same thing. Don't don't worry about this one. Um, the the other one that you probably not have seen is the modulus operator, which is gonna give us back the remainder. So if I were to do five mod five, that's the modulus operator, the percentage sign. We're asking Ruby, 5 divided by 5, what is the remainder? Well, 5 divided by 5 is going to be 1, so it goes evenly. And we get a remainder of 0. So if we, get, if we hit enter, we get 0. So now if I wanted 6 mod 5, you know, 5, we get 6 divided by 5 is going to be 1, and then we get 1, 6, so we're expecting the remainder of 1. That's the modulus operator. We could also do exponents. So if I wanted to ask what's the, you know, three to the third power, you know, three, three times three times three, we get twenty-seven. Well, I could ask it three squared. I mean, three to the third power. I mean, it's the same thing. Three, yeah, three times three times three, twenty-seven. Okay, so let's. That's pretty much all the arithmetic operators in Ruby. Let's go to our order of operations. So. If you remember correctly from elementary algebra, um, we had some order of operations and we usually abbreviated by pandas. So first we do parentheses, then exponents, multiplication, division, you know, whichever comes first, addition, subtraction, whichever comes first. But in Ruby we also have the modulus operator, so we include it up here. So let's do a more complicated expression to to you know to hit the the point I'm trying to make. So Let's do parentheses, 2 plus 4, 2 plus, yeah, 2 plus 4, and we're going to raise that to the, I'm not going to do too big of a number, otherwise I'm not going to be able to keep track. So I'm just going to do square here, and we're going to subtract, okay, we're going to subtract uh, 5, and then we're going to add 10, 10 halves. Okay, so let's do our order of operations, so left to right, and following these rules. So first the parentheses 2 plus 4 is going to be 6. 6 squared is 36. So we have 36 here. Now we have to do the next one which is going to be the division. So 10 divided by 2 is going to be 5. So we got 36 minus 5 plus 5. So 36 minus 5 is 31 plus 5 is 36. And we get 36 here. So that's uh that's all the arithmetic operators in the order of operations. It works the same way you did in, in an algebra class. By the way, this modulus operator, you're most likely never gonna use it. 
Um, this really is only used for very advanced uh, math programs where you get into complex analysis and complex variables or maybe even um, cryptography and number theory but you're probably never going to use it so don't worry about it too much um, so that's pretty much all for now and in the next tutorial I'm going to cover some variables and you know what you know how they work in basic Ruby so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe